This is the moment that every mixed martial arts athlete hopes will materialize the number one heavyweight contender making the walk for his first title fight here in the U.S. I mean, the nerves are going crazy for this man right now. He's so nervous. Has he done everything he needs to do? Has he not left any stone unturned? He says that he has prepared. He says that his body's ready. His mind's ready. He feels physically good in the spot. He's taking on a long-rated champion. If he's going to get this done, it's going to take something truly special. He does not believe jitters will be a factor here tonight. He has built his career methodically to this point. We'll see if we hear the words and new by night 10. So here he is, the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion, Tom Aspinall. He has put UK on the map. And certainly Michael Bisping and Leon Edwards deserve a lot of credit. But now the UK has a heavyweight champion. And he hasn't even arrived at his fighting prime. We heard a lot about the grappling of Tom Aspinall and just how good he was in that realm. But his striking is outstanding. He's got the power to go with the speed. He moves as well with the footwork as any heavyweight on the roster. And that's really the big challenge for the opposition here tonight. Power to be sure on the other side, but how are they going to keep up with Tom Aspinall with the lateral movement, the jab, and everything else that he presents and poses on the feet? Our tail of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. To get us started, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, the warrior. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Tom. Herb Dean, our referee for this one. Good. All right, early round action here, and the wins and bonuses just continue to pile up for the buddy heavyweight contender, Tom Aspinall. Truly a five to a player when it comes to his skills, but in this particular matchup, he believes the ground game is going to be his bread and butter. He believes we're looking at a submission finish here tonight. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Good was that combo. He is really doing a nice job stringing his shots together now. Takedown defense holds up. Fight behind a nice jab. Fast pace here in the early game. Oh, good block there. Straight right lands. Aspinall gets caught by another straight hand. Sidekick is there. Get those combinations. Oh, back and forth we go. That was a nice transition. That was right off the strike into the takedown, and it looked effortless. It did not look like he had to work hard to finish his takedown at all. 
in the half guard. Now he's going full mount. Now he's got good body position, yup. Moving his head on the ground here, avoiding a lot of these big shots. Nice. Oh, he's going for a choke here. This could be tough. Oh, he's in trouble here, DC. He's got the triangle with a lot of pressure going down on his board. Oh, that's gotta be it. Oh, he escapes. He got out. I mean, wow. That is great submission defense. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Nice job by him there. He was being dominated and is able to reverse position. Aspinall's back in full now. Lands with the ground and pound here. These ground strikes really started to add up. There's another one. He Bottom fighter move. better move. Yeah, he's got to move, John. He's got to shrimp and try to either get up or pull his opponent back into him so he doesn't have the posture to land that big damage. Oh, compromising spot here. Triangle choke is back there. Armbar. Oh, how good is that as he gets out? That is great submission defense, keeping everything short and not allowing his opponent to get the submission victory. Fighter trying to pass here, Ooh, but gets denied. Gets denied. Great job, great recognition of seeing what your opponent was trying to do. Beautiful reversal on the ground. Aspinall's back in full now. Big ground and pound. Oh, he got to the spot. Well, he's on his back, but he's moving his head on the ground pretty well defensively. Gonna try to take his opponents back here, and he does. All right, dominant position for him here, full mount. If you're the bottom fighter, better start moving those hips, DC. Oh, you gotta start moving those hips. What you should do initially, right, is start to push at the knee. Push at the hips, create some distance, shrimp, and try to recollect half guard. Half guard sucks, but it's much better than being mounted fully by your opponent. Aspinall's got his back again. Grounded him and pounded him. Nice job. Well, we'll see who has the edge here as they get back to their feet after a pretty engaged battle there on the ground. And both of these guys should feel pretty satisfied because they both had their moments and they both showed true skill on the ground. Oh, now he's going to find himself in a little more danger. Nice transition. Takes the back, now going for the rear naked choke. Back and forth, but submission defense wins this transition. But gotta be careful there, yep. Pretty athletic off his back to avoid that strike from the top. He's having his way right here. Round two next. Nice work. You're winning this fight. You have to stay ahead now. Let's get back out there and keep doing what we're doing. Put the pressure on him. Don't give him an opportunity. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays, DC. And if you like the kicking game, that was the round for you. Yeah, man, he used his kicks beautifully. He managed distance, managed space, and eventually those kicks started to really take an effect on his opponent and slow him down. He has to stay the course next round. Ready to fight? Ready. Second round on the way. Here we go, our next round is underway. And how about the submission defense on that young man in the previous round? He's so well-versed in all areas of mixed martial arts. Now with a full display as he defended a real deep submission attempt. Let's go. Throwing that low kick. Clipped him with the right hand there. Looking for that left hand, just missed. Oh, nice takedown defense. Ooh, pretty good uppercut. Oh, and a head 
kick there. Aspinall swelling now around the jaw area, so we'll keep an eye on that as this fight continues. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issues. Always be closing. Busy in the clinch here, the punch is good. Oh, counters with a straight right hand, that'll work. Aspinall's in half goal. There it is, now he's going to mount. Continuing to stay busy here on the ground. Posture's up now and lands a devastating strike to the head. Aspinall's going for an arm here. Oh, he's got that arm tight now. He's starting to get it in there deep. brought to the octagon and is showed in that defense. Oh, trying to pass here, but Dikembe Mutombo style, Block. he gets denied. Block! Great job blocking that pass by the bottom fighter. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent, he got to be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Oh, slick reversal right there. Guard here, but a nice job by the bottom fighter defense. Bottom fighter did a fantastic job of following with his hips, making sure he blocked any attempt to get past his guard. The fighters on point tonight lands a beautiful kick. So a much different approach from him here in round two. It took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. Kick lands. Just over two minutes here to go in round two. Aspinall gets the double leg takedown. Nothing telegraphed about that shot. Well done. All right, working out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you got to be careful here. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Look at that. Going into the arm bar. That is tight. Very smart there. You never favor submission over a dominant position. Aspinall's right back to the full mount. This pace is just absurd, and he has kept it up throughout the fight. Shades of Max Holloway against Calvin Cater. Attacking on bar. Looks pretty tight, DC. It's getting tight right now, John. Submission defense holds up, he gets out. He said that he was ready for everything that would be thrown at him. In that position, he showed that and proved it. Working off of his back here, looks like he may try to hip escape. Get the ball here. Jake, these submission setups aren't that bad, but he keeps getting denied. Yeah, because he's not panicking. He's taking his time. He knows what to do whenever something is coming in his direction. It's beautiful. It's beautiful to watch a guy comfortable even when he's under attack. Now drops inside that closed guard, DC. Full guard. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big round of pop. Trying to guard pass here. Not today. No, it ain't happening. Good job understanding the transition. All right, so the fighter's able to reverse position on the ground, and now he's got the dominant position. Yeah, what a great job recognizing that once he got the reversal, he went right to his offense. He didn't wait, John. He did a good job of while his opponent goes, oh my goodness, I lost the position. He said, no, no, we're not done. I'm gonna get to a dominant position myself. Good round. So there's the horn. That means it's the end of the round, and a lot of good offensive wrestling work from him over those previous five minutes. I mean, great offensive wrestling. Every time he changed levels, 
Great and got fight. to his opponent's legs, he was able to secure the takedown. Let's see what type of fatigue his opponent will carry into the next round. All right, next round is underway, and if you look at these two guys in between rounds, it looks like they barely broke in a sweat. Both with good resting heart rate, stamina still very high, and you just have to laud the efforts of these guys in training. Both men certainly noted cardio specialists, but incredible that they would have this much in the tank after 10 plus minutes of fight. Aspinall's nose is bleeding now. Yes, looks as though he got cut by one of those offerings from his opponent. Second leg take that attempt here, and did that get you out of your seat? Beautifully done by him there. Oh, man, I jumped up and down. Am I watching the Olympics or a big <laughs> martial arts fight? You don't see single legs this good unless you're watching a real high-level wrestling. He passed the half guard. And look at him attacking the arm triangle on the other side. He's going to lock him down, try to pass all the way across his body. Once he gets across, he was going to drop his that he escaped that submission. And he's back up. Oh, he might be out. Oh, uppercut. All right, so a good job defensively by him here as he raises the guard and prevents any damage. Shades of James Tony. Always seeing things coming at him. He's such a great defensive fighter. All right, gets inside, gets the single collar tie here. Oh, man, the blood is flowing now. I know a lot of you like that, but he has got to figure some things out defensively or this fight's going to happen. He's got to move his head, John. But the problem is, now he's got the blood to deal with. He's got a sharp striker in front of him. He has got a lot of things to deal with if he wants to win this fight. But right now, the focus is to be on the head movement so you're not getting this is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges out of it. He is lighting them up now. Nice level change. Aspinall's got the full mount. All right, setting up for a finish here. Oh, good technique there. He's got the triangle choke locked in. Oh, gives up on the submission now. Well, he had it tight, John, but then he decided to keep the dominant position by giving it up. This is a terrible position. Oh, pinpoint ground strike by him there, and that one opened up a cut. Just over two minutes now to go. movement to avoid that strike coming down. Oh, shades of the godfather of the ground and pound Mark Coleman as he lands again. Cole is somewhere smiling watching this guy land from the top position. Nice positional control here. Well, this is absolutely the hurt business. It's hard to see which party is more injured, but I think both fighters have been really affected with their strikes. In this yeah, both guys have been affected. Both guys have been beat up. It's a very competitive fight. Let's see who has the heart to carry them through these very tough moments. Softened up here, trying to set up a choke here. Oh, that rear naked choke attempt is tight. Oh. Wow, he gets out and now reverses position. Beautiful submission defense by this guy. He was constantly under attack. Grapplers delight tonight. 45 seconds remain in the round. Working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice ground and pound by Aspen. Well, we may have the best cut men and women in the business, but I'm not sure the ref will help you here. Just as the referee will never take a guy out of mount, they will not take a guy off of your back. You have to get him out of his position. Watch the R bar, but watch the R bar here. Well, it looks like he's got that submission locked in. He's starting to get deep. Oh, now he's in trouble. Oh, he's out. Trying to pass here, as Wilbur Teixeira might say, not today. Not today. 
Great job of following with the hips, keeping those legs locked and keeping them full guard. All right, that's three rounds in the books. We are headed to the championship round. All right, so there's the end of the round. Big story in this one now. The cut on the bridge of that nose from that strike. The cut man is in there. Should be able to shut this one and potentially prevent it from being a factor here moving forward. All right, so a big knockdown for him courtesy of that punch in that round. DC, here's a replay. Big moment in the previous round. They were both fighting very well. But when he landed this punch right here that sits his opponent down, it showed that the power is not equal. And if he can land, he does have the ability to damage him. You ready to fight? Ready. Fourth round now, fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. All right, here we go, fourth round of a possible five. And this is the time where fighters are really tested, right? Dig deep, we yeah. have the heart, we'll see who has the upper. You feel pretty good in round number five. Round number four is the one that really does test the fighter. It really does test the metal of the guy inside of the upper. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strength. Oh, oh so right. Kick there by Aspen. He does everything so well. And he's so calm. He's so calm in the face of such a big spot. All right, so an opportunity goes by the Bulls. He had him stunned, nearly finished, and now his opponent has recovered. His opponent's recovered. Now he's got to deal with everything that he's going to bring at him. He should have got the fight finished at that time. Gets to the single collar tie. Aspinall's cut on his nose is just pouring blood at this point. You wonder if that's impacting his breathing by now. Oh, no! That's a nice one, too. Oh! Big shot on the feet! He's got... Oh! Oh! combination to get the knockdown. Good, solid strike on the ground. Look at that. Recognize he's about to lose position. Oh, he's getting it deep. Struggling to create the angle here. It's going to be tough, but he's going to keep trying. Oh, my goodness. He's getting it tight. Oh, beautiful job to escape. Great job clearing the knee. Get this hit all the way across and defending that heel hook. That was fun to watch. Well, significant swelling now in and around that left back mount now. Under three minutes to go in round four. Fighter trying to pass here, but gets denied. Gets denied. Great job. Great recognition of seeing what your opponent was trying to do. Oh, right into mount. Oh. Postures up and delivers a massive ground and pound punch to the head. Got to be careful here. Man, another one lands. He's trying to pound his opponent's head through the canvas. So that cut continues to get more severe with every passing moment of the fight. Every moment. You know, when you get cut in a fight, you expect for it to worsen because you're not... Oh, he locks up the triangle now, DC. This could very well be the beginning of the end. Oh, it looks like the end of the fight. It looks like this one is about done. This guy is a triangle expert. He got it set up. He jumped on it so quick. And now he's just going from step to step trying to get the finish. It's about to be over. He's got to be careful here. Hard ground and pound. Some swelling now starting to appear. Well, he continues to manhandle him here on the ground. All right, a good ground and pound by him here. Certainly staying busy, and not just busy, but effective. You can just throw punches to keep the referee off of you. This guy is throwing punches to be effective, to throw damaging strikes. He's doing a fantastic job. And now he's got the back. Let's keep it up. 
All right, half guard for him here, and a lot of offensive options, I would think, at his disposal. Oh, he's got a ton of options. He has submission options, but I believe the safest option for him here is going to be to use his grounded pound. Build a base, posture up, throw big strikes, get back in position, go posture again, throw big strikes, and just really wear him down. Well, he's got his back now. Aspinall's right back to the full mount here. And plenty of time with which to work. 30 seconds to go in the round. You have to fight one. Well, an incredible fight thus far. Both fighters look like they could be finished at any time. If you wondered about the heart on either side, that question was answered today. Nothing. There are no more questions in regards to these two fighters. Both of these men have been hurt. Both of these men are swollen. They're bloody. They're both, even though them. they're both willing and ready to continue this fight. Sounds for the end of round four. All right, well, if you like blood, and I do, this is the fight for you. Somehow we've made it to the stools, and both fighters are wearing it. Yeah, I mean, the corner's going to have some work to do on that cut. He has been beat up in that round, but he has done his fair share of damage himself. This has been a very close fight. All right, let us now get you some replays of all the damage done in that previous round, including the strike that opened up the cut. Yeah, some nasty strikes landed over the course of that round, and it opened up a nasty cut. He has got to find a way to change some things defensively, or that cut is just going to get worse and worse. And the worse it gets, the more he runs the risk of this fight getting stopped. Refocus and keep those hands up. You ready to fight? Ready. Go. Fifth and final round, fourth cover. Oh, that's a beautiful left hand counter. Oh, nice kick. Aspinall's hook. Oh! Oh, back and forth we go. Blood is everywhere. I'm just not sure how much one man can take. Never mind both of them. Trying to set up a submission now. Oh, compromising spot here. Triangle choke is locked in. Oh, the ground and pound is coming. Good movement to avoid some of that power coming back. That was a slick transition. Well, this is a tough fighter to buck off. Very good pressure and work here by Aspinall. Man, that cut has really opened up. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Aspinall. Another ground and pound strike gets home. All right, so pretty good damage here with the ground and pound. Nothing superficial about these. All right, he's got the hooks in, DC working off of his back. Now look for him to attack the neck of his opponent to try to get the rear choke. Oh, this is getting kind of hard to watch, right? He targets the cut and lands a strike right on it. Yes, yeah, smart adjustment, yep. Oh, lands with the ground and pound strike. All right, so he gets back to his feet after that extended battle on the crowd, and the crowd is loving it. The crowd's going crazy because they appreciate high-level mixed martial arts, and that's exactly what you just got. All right, so the head damage continues to land. Three minutes now to go on the fight. Moving to half guard, shades of Daniel Cormier slicing through that guard. Unbelievable. I love it. Like a knife through butter. What a great job passing. That guillotine is tight. That guillotine looks very painful, and he's very close to the finish, but he cannot rush. He cannot allow the to get to his back. Oh, he got out. How good is that? This guy is so aware. He never leaves anything long to allow for himself to get subbed. Oh, he continues to attack that bloody cheek. His face is a mess. In the half guard. Oh, how about that? Strong reversal on the ground. Oh, man, every time he lands, it's right on that cut. That is going to have a profound impact on him moving forward. Ooh, looks like another submission attempt now. 
Oh, gotta protect your neck. Guillotine choke is locked in. You better protect your neck when you fight this guy because he's got the guillotine locked in. But if he wants to finish, he's gotta lock that guard and drive his hips up into his opponent. Now he's going full mount. So he's got the ground and pound game going here. All right, looks like he's got a couple of hooks in here, DC. And defensively, you better be careful. All right, so he continues to land and right on that cut. Getting a little bit hard to watch right now with all the blood pouring out. But you know, sometimes you got guys that cut easily. You think the Diaz brothers, this guy gets cut, but it doesn't seem to be deterring him. He's still trying to fight, but he's got to make some changes. Yep, gotta be very careful there. Takes his back now. The doctor may have to take a look at this. He's getting hit on that swollen area over and over again, and it seems critical now. All right, 45 seconds now to go in the round. Really doing a nice job getting these shots home on the ground. On oh, another punch on the ground gets through. May need some defense here. Oh, good technique there. He's got the triangle choke locked in. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Well, any time you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Great ground and pound by this man. Well, that is as bad a cut as we have seen in some time. You see the referee monitoring things closely. We might get a stoppage soon. Yeah, he needs to monitor. Oh. And back and forth action right until the final oh. horn. That one's going to hold up in the fight of the year conversation. All right, so a tremendous title fight tonight. I know we're still digesting everything we just saw, but if I'm a judge, I'm giving the nod to the challenger and now new champion of the world. They always say you have to take the belt from the champion. I believe he did just enough to take the belt from the champ. It's going to be a very close decision, but I do believe we have a new champion. The official decision is in. Bruce Buffer has it. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. For the winner by split decision, and new undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, the Warrior. All right, so how about it? There is a new baddest man on the planet. There he is the now undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world. He thought he was gonna get the champion out of there tonight. He thought he'd get the finish. Instead, he needs all five rounds to get the job done here tonight, but the judges saw it his way. A monumental result here tonight in Las Vegas as we crown a new UFC heavyweight champion.